Okay, uh, right now we're going to uh, attend my uh, uncle's funeral. As I remember, um, I've been going back and forth to the hospital before. And uh, the other night before we went to Pangasinan, and I just found out that he's already dead. So right now we just waited for my mom coming from the province. And this is the opportunity that we're going to go. The whole family is going to go there and to pay our respect. Tomorrow is going to be uh, the, the last day. Actually, they're going to uh, take him to the final destination. So uh, let's see what's going on. But in the meantime, I wanted to go and find a place where I could buy some flowers, bouquet of flowers, before we go there. And I feel very, very sad because um, uh, finally, this is it, you know, the moment of truth. But uh, this is life. This is a part of life. And we have to understand that uh, sometimes we don't really know when is the time that we are going to go. It's only God who knows, you know, when is our final day. So for me, because uh, with this situation last time, you know, he couldn't, he, could, he couldn't even get up anymore. And of course, you know, they're just using some tube in order for him to eat. And uh, I was told that he can't even have his own uh, bowel movement anymore. So, you know, it was really sad, you know, that kind of situation. I feel sad in a way that he was in that situation because, of course, we don't know sometimes, like, why is it that, you know, he had to suffer that way. But we cannot blame anybody. We cannot blame God or whatever. That was, uh, you know... That was really meant, I guess, that he would be in that situation. I don't know. I cannot just think of something else at this point. But all I have to do is, uh, I guess, it's also a blessing because my aunt, uh, Tita Paro, she was really suffering. She can't even get out of the house. She can't even do whatever she needed to do. I wanted to invite her here at this house, but she couldn't because she really needed to stay there and take care of him. So uh, in a way, I feel sad. And in a way, it's a blessing that finally he's with the Lord. I'm sure he is with the Lord. Otherwise, he would still be suffering. So to the family of my late uncle, Karina Swan, of course, to my tita most especially, my heartfelt sympathy to your family, tita. And of course, like what I said before, you know, before I left to uh, Africa and I said that if uncle wanted to stay here, I was willing also that he would stay here and I would be able to accommodate him. But because it was his decision that he'd rather stay in his house, which I understood completely. So that was his choice. You know, for me, I did whatever I could, you know, to help. But of course, sometimes, like, our help is not enough, you know. It's still up to God what happened. So we just want everybody to pray for him. I'm sure that he's already in heaven. I'm sure he's already with my dad. <laughs> and um, to the family of Tita, please just be calm right now. And uh, life goes on, all right? This is not the end of the day. This is just the start of a new beginning. I love you, Tita. And the rest of the Swans family. Your Ate Mystica loves you very much. And of course, on behalf of Better Globe, Mr. Rino Solberg of um, Norway. He is our CEO chairman, Better Globe Marketing Philippines Incorporated. And of course, my staff. You know, Jason, Paolo, Frank, Nina, um, uh, Dennis, uh, Henry, and Nikki, and Yaya, my mom, and of course my, um, my grandson, uh, Isley. We would love to extend our condolence to the family of Tita Paro Swan. We love you. So we're going to go and see you right now, okay? We love you and God bless everyone. Bye.
Miss. Oo so, nga. Kita tayo. Oo. Oh. <laughs> well, wala na tayong babagay sa sumulay. Kaya alam mo, it's sad, pero blessing na rin. Kasi so, expected, expected, expected oh, na rin na rin. Kasi sa mga kasi sa mga kasi
sana po, nandiyan kami si tatay ko sa nandiyan sa tatay ko. So, pagkasama ko kayo, at sana po, pareho kayo, maalala ko sa amin, si Basta po, of course, kay Tita. At sa katilong mga ako po, hindi ko pababay si Tita. Hindi ba, makapasyal kami sa bahay. Malaya na. Malaya ka na. Dito, malaya na si Tita. Hindi. Okay, here are my mom's family. My mom is the youngest. She is the oldest. And second is Tita Ansi. And then Tita Juni. And then Tita Paro. Tita Paro. It's Ruby. She got it from me. Her name is Rose. I am Rose. And her daughter's name is Ruby. And I am Ruby Rose. And of course, this is my grandson, Isley. And that's Frank right there. We are family. <laughs> Tita, sino ang mga bisita, mga friends, relatives? Okay, so these are my Tita's friends and relatives. Si Armand. Armand. Ha? Nasa sa ipa? Kapate. 